Now you will be hearing a presentation from Mrs. Or Miss, Miss Ilma Bitsi. She is working as a lecturer at Bader, in Bader University, Department of Law. Her presentation is going to deal with the juridical practice in the protection of human rights. Miss Bitsi, the floor is yours. Thank you. Hello, dear panel members, dear colleagues and all the participants of this important conference. I'm here today to present you uh, my work, my paper, with concern with the juridical practice in the protection of human rights. Everybody knows that when we talk about human rights, we are really talking for a very important issue. Albania, our country, belongs to the civil law or the Romantic, uh, Romantic German uh, family. And furthermore, the importance of European, co uh, European Convention of Human Rights is in the highest level. According to the article number 122 of our constitution, we will see that, that the post, we will see that the position of European Convention of Human Rights is in the same place as our constitution. It means that, in one moment, if we oppose any, anything on each article of the European Convention of Human Rights, is the same thing as we are doing something against to even our Constitution. To understand more clearly, to understand more clearly the respect and the protection of human rights, I'd like to present, in the same time, the main principles of the rule of law. The first is the open door, is the open door judgment. The open door trial or judgment, according to the article number six of the European Convention of Human Rights, everyone has his right to be heard in the process before he gets or not his punishment. The participation of public and media is very important in a process in a court for two reasons. The first, because their presence there means that it won't take any action that, there will have, that we will have any discrimination in that process. And the second, because it's like a test to have, sorry, to have a honest process until the final decision. The second is independent, is independent court. To have an independent court means to have these four factors. The first factor is the way of selecting the members of the court. The second is the duration of the duty. The third is the fact to don't have that anyone from the members of the court might have any uh, introduce, might have any pressures or indications from outside. And the last, to have an objective independence means that how they feel to be independent in a process in the, in the court. Access to court. Access to court means that how open is the, is the European Court of Human Rights to, to wait or to accept any claim that might have uh, anyone uh, in, the, in the respect of his rights. And the last, but not the least, is the presumption of innocence. The accused will enjoy all the same rights as any other person of society. Everyone must be respected by the prosecutor and by all the members in the court. So I think that the mechanism or, or uh, the, all the international mechanism have uh, uh, one, only, one only mission, and this mission is to protect the human rights. And the way, the best way to do this is protecting, defending and respecting the, these human rights. So I think that in nowadays we can talk for a progressive nature of jurisprudence in the area. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention.